After three straight losses, Port Vale look to put the pass behind them today as they hit the road to take on Forest Green Rovers. The home side put three past Notts County last weekend before adding four more in their route of Cheltenham in the Checker Trade Trophy on Tuesday. Three wins in three would certainly be pretty reading for the Forest Green faithful if they can find a victory today. Build up play on that right flank from the home side. Taken on by Digby. Unfortunately, the home side not really able to produce anything in front of the dugouts. Hannock with the long throw down that left flank. Headed straight up into the air, Pope trying to knock it down. There's space on this near side, suddenly and a chance to pull the trigger from distance. Always sweeping wide of the target by Clark. Had a great opening though, the right back. And took the space that was given to him. Booming clearance from Brown. Looking for his captain, Pope. Another chance from range, that's a good save by Sanchez. The follow-up is wide of the target. In the end, it took a couple of ricochets. Sanchez was more than a match to the initial effort. Coming in from Conlon. The second one perhaps should have found the back of the net. Claims the handball. Shepard with a big appeal. He gets it. Chance to fire one in from this set piece. Rawson just on the edge of the 18-yard box. The big man up from the back. There's plenty of bodies in there. Keep an eye as well on Digby. He makes his move towards the penalty spot. It's in towards the back post instead. It's a wonderfully worked free kick. And we have the opener after just 15 minutes. Carl Winchester, his third goal of the season. Look at the run he makes, just peeling away to the back stick. Gets across his marker too. Luke Joyce didn't know where he was coming from. And a great header into the bottom corner. Whitfield trying to win possession, sporting the Terry Butcher style headband at the moment this side eventually finding possession in the middle of the park Joyce goes back it's a sloppy pass as well and the Forest Green Rovers players trying to be quick on the counter attack Winchester gunning back to the goal scorer Reese Brown Patient in possession on the edge of the final third. That's lovely one-touch football. Almost opened up for Winchester. Might still open up on the far side. The effort always sailing up and over. Not seen too much in terms of a reply from Port Vale this afternoon. Aside from a scramble in the first half that Sanchez was able to deal with, the Forest Green Rovers keeper... Hasn't really been tested so far. And it sends it up the line, and that's a free kick. Ricky Miller bundled over the substitute. That's why he's been brought on, just to cause problems in the final third, and there's a chance suddenly for Hannett to whip one in, perhaps. Teasing ball in, Ricochet is all the way to the far post, Whitfield, back in the mixer it goes again, still ping around, claims for handball as well, Miller had an effort, was blocked from close range and Port Vale will have a corner and nothing more than that.
It's a good flick on, might fall back to the feet of George Williams. A nice build up, but no final finish from the home side. Shepard with the quick throw. Love a second just to extend this lead. It's great build up play. Unfortunately, Ruben Reed fancied the chance himself when perhaps he could have laid it off into the path of Williams, who was in space. Williams this time can't keep possession for too long, and Port Vale finally clear the danger. They might just cause a little bit of trouble of their own. Miller dancing and weaving away from his defender. It's a lovely ball across goal. There was just no final touch from Pope. The only purple and black shirt to aim at. Long throw into the box. Pope flicks it over his head. There's a strong shout for a penalty there. Miller goes down. And this time, Alan Young points to the spot. And Port Vale have a chance to pull level late on here. Certainly a bit of pulling from Ferenc Rawson. Pope against Sanchez. He's made some good saves in the first half. Can he save Forest Green Rovers here? Cool as you like, straight down the middle. Port Vale a level. Tom Pope, the captain, tucks it away from the spot. Two goals in two games for the Port Vale striker. Simple finish. And we are all square suddenly at the new lawn. <laughs> Cleared away from danger. Sanchez punches it away. Really good pressure this from the away side, but perhaps they've committed too many bodies forward. Reed sends it into the space on the opposite flank. He wants the return pass as well. Not sure he's going to get it. Now Reed once again. Great save with the feet by Brown. Super stop. And that's a crunching challenge as well. There could be trouble here. Rawson sees red. He was already booked, but that was a late lunging challenge. Not pretty at all. Conlon scythed down as he led the charge back the other way. And suddenly the home side have to hold on for a point with 10 men. Conlon. Shot doesn't find a way through, but the rebound does find a teammate. Into the box it goes, but... There's no one on the end of it. Conlon wants it on the edge of the box. Didn't come his way. Now he gets the chance. Straight at Sanchez. Keeper just had to get down low and ensure he got his body behind it. Sanchez comes and collects. Almost leisurely thumps it forward. Given away, though, in the middle of the park, sloppily, cheaply, Whitfield, able to run into the space. Conlon. Looking for Pope. He can't bring it under control, nor find a teammate with the nod down. Ricky Miller on the turn. Can't find a way through. End-to-end -end action hit in the closing stages. Ruben Reed. Has support on the right or the left. He goes into the space on the far side. Looks for the return pass once again on the edge of the box. Reed shapes to shoot. Just wide. Keeper got a touch on it as well. And it was a touch that was needed. Ten men, Forest Green Rovers almost snatching all three points. They've still got a chance from this corner. Way by Sanchez. The ball just hanging in the air. Shepard just about able to find a teammate. Reed shrugs off a defender. 
And just wide again. What an opportunity that was. Time and space to pick his spot, but Dale Grubb, the substitute, couldn't be the super sub. Scoop forward once again. Is there a last chance here for Port Vale to try and pinch all three points? Perhaps not. This one's just going to be thumped forward to safety. Reed underneath it, but the whistle goes. Time runs out for both sides to try and find a winner. An entertaining game for the neutral. But frustration that the points are split for both sides. Forest Green Rovers took the advantage early through Carl Winchester. But Tom Pope's penalty in the second half. Ensuring Port Vale don't leave empty-handed. They perhaps could have done more after Ferrin Rawson was sent off late on as well. But it finishes all square. Forest Green Rovers 1, Port Vale 1.